hello welcome to my channel this rejoice how you doing today we're going to do this lovely 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 flower that you see this is what you're going to do today it's very simple and beautiful so i'm going to tell you what you're going to do we need our rhinestone cup chain And size six seed bead. I'm using I'm using silver galvanized, and the glue of your choice. This is what I'm using. Size eight or ten crystal bead. I'm using two different color. You can use one if you want. And size twelve, you can use pearl bead, but I'm using raspberry bead. Some size eight seed bead over here. And then our cup chain under cup chain, rhinestone chain, size six, sorry, pearls bead for the base, and flip flop of our chase. I've already wrapped my flip flop already with my thread. The thread I use is um, slick thread. I know you know how to do that one already because I've done it several times on my videos how to wrap your flip flop with the thread. So with this flower, if you have if you've been watching my video, you can know you can see that this is the second time I'm doing this flower. I've done it before. Okay, let's start taking our bead. We are taking our size two and six pearls bead, and I'm taking 12. You can take 10 if you like. It will depend how big you want your flower. So if you like, take 12. If you like, take 10. So I'm making a knot. I have my 12 bead. Go ahead and make a knot. I don't even know how to sing it. <laughs> I wish I can sing it again. I feel you. No, I feel anyone now. <laughs> okay, go into your bead like two or three beads that's fine you don't need to go through or just do two three away from your tail that's it you come out from here now pick three Let it drop. Your thread is coming out from here. Come to the back side where your thread is coming from and go in. Then come out from the next bead ahead of you. Now pick two. Instead of three, pick two. Where your thread is coming out from, come to the up one. This is where your thread is coming out from. Come into the up bead over here. The second bead you just add right here at the top. Then go to the bottom bead. To the bottom bead. That's the, your base bead. Then move to the next bead ahead of you. So you see, we'll pick two instead of picking three. Because you'll get a one from the bead the bead that you are adding pick two again let me see if i can zoom in i try to zoom it so go in here to the base bead then you come out pull your work 
I hope you can see properly because I just zoom it a little bit. Pick two again. Come out from here. Come in here. Mm -hmm. They go to the, you move to the next bead. If you can see, we keep moving to the next bead. Come in here. Go to your base bead. Where your thread is coming out from, they go to the next bead ahead of you. Just do it all the way around. So I'm now going to the I'm going to do the last one here. Move to the next bead over here. Go in here. Then go to the top over here. Pull your work. Now you come out from here, so you're gonna pick only one bead. This is the last one. Come out from here, you go in here, so pick only one. Go in here where your thread is coming out from, come to the opposite side. Now, put your work. This is what you should have. Now, go into your base bead again, the, the bottom one. Then you come out from here. Yep. Now we are going to stage three. This is our second stage. Let's go to the third stage. We're working from the from the middle bead. Pick one size twelve bead, which is our, our raspberry bead. Then you pick three size six. Sorry. 8 seed bead you can choose to you can use them um, size 3 pearls bead if you like but i choose to use the seed bead so let your seed bead drop let it drop and let your bead sit over there this is what you should have Move away from your seed bead over right here, let it drop. Go into the pearls bead. Then go into the base bead at the bottom. Now pull your work. So it's gonna sit like this. Yes, this is what you should have. Go to the base bead. Then you come in here. Yes. We came out from here. We're going to do the same thing again. You pick three. Let it drop.
now move up So I pick my tray, let it drop. That's the last one. Let it sit. Move your seed bead. Go into your raspberry bead. Move down. So you can see we have all our gap fill already move to the next level come in here go back again to this side and pull your work this is what you should have go into this bead now we're going to use our size 6 seed bead you can use size 4 pearls bead if you like i choose to use size 6 so pick one go into the next bead ahead of you like that you just pick one to go to the next bead ahead of you So pull your work, let it tight. This is what you should have. That is the back side of your work. Go down to your base bead, the first um, 12 bead that you pick. Go down to one of it and come out from it. So this side is the back side. We will turn our work like this. So now we're gonna start adding our crystal bead. Like I said, if you have size 10, it's fine. I don't have 10, all I have is 8, so I decided to use my 8. But if you have 10, cool. Since I'm using two different colors, I'll pick 6 each color. It's a choice, you can choose to use one color. I decided to use two colors and see how the flower turn, like, turn out like. And I, li I love it.
so with this one it's a little bit different but just like the same thing we did it's just that we'll pick size 6 bead first we are using the 12 bead we pick first the base one the first one that we pick that's what we are using So pick size 6 bead, then you pick 12, sorry, 10, 8, sorry, 8 bead, crystal, then you pick size 8 seed bead, 3 seed bead, let it drop, okay, pass your 3 seed bead, your good seed bead, let it let it go down. Go into the crystal, then into your seed bead, the size six. Where your thread was coming out from, go to the opposite side. Come to the pussy side and let it sit properly. Then move to the next bead ahead of you. Pick another six. Seed bead. One crystal, three seed bead again. Let the eight or seed bead pass. Then you go to your crystal, then into your 6 O seed bead. And go to the opposite side. Then you go forward. I hope you can see properly. Move your way to the next bead ahead of you. This is what you should have. You see where my thread was coming out from? I went to the opposite side. Then I'll go to the next bead.
So this is what you should have. I'll continue doing it till I have all my 12 bead. Like I said, I choose to use two different colors. So if you are also using two different colors, I am doing red first, then the the game crystal color, then the red and the crystal clay. So you go ahead and do it the way you want it. If you are using one color, but if you are using two, make it two two or one one. You know, one red, one clear, one red, one clear, or anyhow you would like it. It's okay. So this is a 18 pearls bead or you can use 20 you're gonna use it to cover the hole in our flower so i pick six old seed bead one then the 18 bead then the six old The six hole that I pick is optional. You can choose not to pick it up, that's fine. So we're gonna sew it together. Obviously, you already know how to do already. Just sew it together with the flip flop. So I'm going, I'm sewing it now. I love this flip flop, and this flower is very easy to do, very simple. So I'm going back into the flip flop again. I'm coming out. Be careful with your fingers not to book, get book. I always get book anytime sewing flip flop. So be careful. So I came out far. From where I'm supposed to come out from, because I need to go into the uh, the big bead, the pearls bead, the big one, to go to the top side. But where I came out from, still okay. I work my way down there. 
then go into it again go into the obedi the big one Now you do the top side. Go down, pull your work, then go up again. So I went into back into my pearls bead again, the pearl bead, the big one. We're gonna do the last finishing over there. So I'm going to pick 11 bead. Now, this is what you're going to do. If you see this round over here, that's what you're going to do right there. I'm picking 11 now. 11. My size 6 over seed bead. You can use size 3 pearls bead. If that's okay for you or oh, 11 or oh, 8 or oh, is okay I choose to use 6 so I have 6 11 right now I'm gonna let it go around here then I'll go into the flip-flop and the size 18 bead again I'll go into it if you can see I did not pick all to go around I just did half half of the bead Go into your size 18 bead. So I have half side covered with a seed bead. Make sure I sit properly. This is what you should have. Now pick 11 again. I'm going to go ahead and pick 11 again. This is what I should have, you see? Yeah. Go to the other side. I went into the 18 bead. The big bead. And I'm picking 11 seed bead again going to your in here again this is what you should have but you can see there's a little holes here that we need to secure we need to cover so I'm going to go into my bead I'm going to go in here then I don't like the way it's moving so 
I will go into the fray floor to secure the bead to win so that it will stay to stay down. I don't want it to move. Let me go into like two more beads ahead of me. So let's say we have 11 bead at the each side. You go into like eight bead, eight or nine bead. Not all the way to the to the um, bottom, just eight or nine bead going to it. Then you sew it with the flip flop, just to make sure that those bead is stable. You don't want it to be moving. So I came back again to where I start from and I'm going to the seed bit again I'm gonna pick one seed bit then go to the other side of the 11 just to secure that little hole that you see when you are doing it you see the hole that I'm talking about that space you need to cover it so ignore this 11 and the good seed bead at the bottom just ignore it like i said that seed bead it is optional if you want to pick it up now i'm going to here then come out we're going to secure this side too so go into the free floor We're gonna pick one. Then we we'll go to the other side of the eleven seed. So this is what we should have. I put my last bit over there too. Um, how do I say it? <laughs> to cover the hole over there. Now you can see the hole. Both holes are secured. They've been covered too. Go ahead and make a knot. Then cut your thread. This is what we should have. And then we're gonna put our round stone chain over here. This is the last part. 
with the glue we use glue to do that you can choose to use one color of your choice but I choose to use two colors so to make a measurement of it put over here then you can have your measurement the length that you want My voice may sound a little bit different today because I have a uh, cold and man, my nose is stuff. I can't even breathe properly. So if you hear any funny, funny thing on my voice, I have cold, I'm coughing a little bit too. But I'll be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and add the glue right now. You can add our glue. You can use any glue of your choice, but this is the glue that I like to use anytime I'm using slip trade. This is the glue that I like to use, so, but any glue of your choice is fine. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like and share. And to my new subscribers, thank you. Thank you so much. I really, 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 really appreciate you. Thank you. This is what you should have. Leave it and let it dry. It's what you should have. Just make sure it sits properly in the end shape. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the other side. We're gonna do the same thing, you know, the same thing right here, but we're gonna use another one, different color. We we'll use this. So go ahead and do the same thing. Measure it, then cut it into three pieces. Cause I choose to add three instead of two. Go ahead and apply your glue.
this one they should have so we're gonna go ahead and do the other side too we're doing the same thing over here we're doing the same thing over here we're gonna go ahead and do the other side and i did my other side and this is how it turned out to be this is very beautiful and it's simple to do if you finish your flower it's very easy to finish the rest this is what i have i hope you like it thank you so much for watching my video and please subscribe if you haven't and share my video please this is what i i end up getting and for me it's pretty i like it you can do it many colors if you want to. This is what I have. Thank you so much for watching my video. Bye.